everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video you would have already seen by the title is going to be five tips and tricks that I use when I'm decluttering my wardrobe which I'm actually planning on doing this afternoon. So this video is going to be very topical and very relevant for me personally. I know a lot of you are also looking to declutter and sort out your wardrobe this time of year as well. So hopefully this video will be helpful for you. I know sometimes we can all get a bit overwhelmed with so much information. So hopefully these five simple tips and tricks are easy to follow and they give you a bit of extra motivation and determination to get that wardrobe finally cleared out and decluttered. So we're going to dive straight into it with tip number one, which is to gather all of your clothes, and I mean all of your clothes, in one place. If you're anything like me, I have three places where I store my clothes. So I have my wardrobe in my bedroom, I have an open wardrobe in a spare room, I have a rail behind me, um, and I do also keep some clothes in my airing cupboard as well. I've got a chest of drawers. Okay, so I've definitely got more than three places that I store my clothes, but I like to utilize my space. But the most important thing to do is to gather everything up in one place so you can see exactly what you have in your wardrobe. Now, if you're anything like me, you may have been a bit of a shopaholic in the past and have just accumulated too many clothes, basically. To be honest with you, there's no need to have that many clothes. If you are looking to lead a bit more of a minimalist lifestyle, then this is definitely such a good way to start. So I did film a video recently on how to transform your style and update your wardrobe. So I will leave that linked somewhere. So definitely head over and check that one out if you need a bit more of, I guess, inspiration, a few more ideas on how to transform your style. But the first thing that I want you to do is to lay out everything you have and to be absolutely honest with yourself. Don't go hiding any clothes in an airing cupboard or in the wash bin. You need to get everything out in front of you and you need to be completely honest and brutal in this process. So once you do have everything laid out in front of you, the second step is going to be to categorise your items. So I want you to categorise them into five different sections. So I want you to categorise seasonal, I want you to categorise trends, activities, evening wear and also sleepwear or loungewear I guess. So that can all fall into one category. And then once you separate your clothes out into these categories, it's going to be so much easier to see what you have what you might have a disproportionate amount of, for example, cosy joggers working at home. I know a lot of us are still working at home, so our jogger drawers are probably going to be very, very full at the moment. Items like jeans, you can pop them in seasonal if you want to. You can pop them into trends if they're a bit more of a trend piece. It's up to you how you want to divide your items, but I think those categories work really nicely and they help you see your entire wardrobe. I also think this is a really useful exercise if you are trying to build a bit more of a capsule wardrobe because you get to see the items that you have and it can show you the items that you're perhaps missing from your wardrobe and that you would like to add to your wardrobe. So it can help you create a bit of a wish list and I am going to be filming a video on how to create a wish list for your wardrobe very soon so I'll link that down below when that does come out as well. So the next thing that I think is probably the biggest tip and it's the biggest step is to question each and every item. So by this, I want you to ask, does this item fall within your intended capsule wardrobe, the wardrobe that you are dreaming of having? Does this item fit within that? If not, toss it aside. You want to create two piles. You want to create a keep pile and a toss pile. And with this hospital, I don't necessarily mean throw it in the bin. I mean either donate it to a charity, give it to a friend, share with somebody, exchange it, or simply sell it. So you don't necessarily want to throw it away. But the keep pile, you want to keep things that fit within your aesthetic, fit within your desired color palette for your wardrobe, and fit within your intended style. So if it doesn't fit within that, 
get rid of it. <laughs> Another important question to ask is, do you still like that item? So I know a lot of us can buy pieces on a bit of a whim. We might be influenced by somebody to buy a certain piece, but a good question to ask is whether or not you do still genuinely like that piece, because if you don't genuinely like it, there's no point keeping it because you are probably not going to wear it very often. And of course, another question to ask and check is the quality of the items. So if there is something slightly older in your wardrobe that you're finding isn't quite washing as well, it might have lost its shape a little bit, then maybe you want to get rid of that and replace it with a newer version that might be slightly more expensive and perhaps you want to invest in some key staples. So if you do have clothes that look a little bit worn, a little bit run down, then maybe it's time to get rid of those and to donate them or sell them. If an item is looking a bit bobbly or if an item is looking a bit dusty or frayed, things like that can definitely be repaired. So don't go throwing things away just because they look a little bit untidy. There are things out there like de-bobblers and items like that that can really help you to repair existing items if you still love them. So you've been through the main declutter process, you've got your keep pile, you've got your discard or toss pile, now we want to focus on the keep pile. So have another double check through it and just make sure that everything you've included in that keep pile is genuinely something that you do want to keep in your wardrobe. I know sometimes we can be a little bit impulsive and at the first time of asking we might think oh I really want to keep this, look at it again, get a second opinion and you might decide that actually it's something that doesn't quite fit within your aesthetic and that you are going to get rid of. And then once you do have your firm and final keep pile, you can start to organise your new clean empty wardrobe. So. All of your wardrobe, all of your drawers should be completely empty because you would have emptied everything out at the start and you can start to organise your space a little bit more effectively and start to create organised drawers, organised rails, it's really nice, something that I like to do personally, is to have matching hangers. So I really like white wooden hangers in my wardrobe so I do like to have those matching. I think it makes it look really clean and really chic. You want to make the best use of your space, so things like jeans and trousers, you can fold them up in a kind of condo style and pop them inside some drawers. Knitwear should ideally be folded if you do have the space, just to avoid any pulling and any disfiguration. And everything else can pretty much be hung up in your wardrobe, so you can organise things in terms of colour coding, you can organise things in terms of what's a trend piece, what's a seasonal piece. Anything that you don't need or anything that is out of season at the moment, you can pack up and pop away in a storage box and bring it out again next summer or whenever is the season that you're going to need to use that piece. So once you've organised all of your clothes and your wardrobe is looking lovely and clean and tidy, you can start this is, I know I'm sorry about this tip, you can start to have a look at your shoes and your accessories because shoes and accessories are something else that do need to be decluttered every now and again. I know again, I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to shoes and handbags especially, and also belts really, I have quite a lot of belts. So I do like to go through my accessories and my shoes as well, following exactly the same process. Is it something you still love? How is the quality? Is it something that can be repaired? Do you wear it? If you don't wear it very often, get rid of it because wasting space in your wardrobe that could either sit there quite happily empty or it could be filled up with a new, more staple integral piece for your wardrobe. So get rid of anything you don't like, you don't use, that doesn't fit within your aesthetic and follow the same process as before. So hopefully you found those tips and tricks helpful. Once you have decluttered your wardrobe, it's a really good idea to start thinking about a more interchangeable, I guess, sustainable wardrobe. It's so easy to follow trends and spend a lot of money on impulse purchases, but actually a really wearable, smarter, interchangeable wardrobe is something that I feel like we should all try and aspire to have. And I am gonna be sharing more videos on this channel of how to create that perfect capsule wardrobe for each of the seasons and also just to reduce your spending on clothes and also just reduce and help the environment in a sense by buying less and using what you have more efficiently. So 
hopefully you did enjoy this video guys if you did i'd love it if you gave it a big old thumbs up if you are new to my channel of course i'd love to have you around for the long term so feel free to head on over and hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below how is your decluttering process going is there anything you're really struggling with i would love to know and thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next video bye